What is good, ladies and gentlemen? And if you are a Xenoverse 2 fan and you've been living under a rock, get up, um, up from underneath that rock because we have a bunch of stuff to cover this weekend. So leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get on some more Xenoverse 2 content. Now, I did see the trailer, the launch trailer that dropped. I have dropped the trailer uh, previously. I'm going to be dropping all types of videos this weekend about the characters, just showcasing the characters and what they are. I am a person that likes to actually, you know, get get and revel in these things the day of i know a lot of people have already posted about it uh, you know P pc players already got the whole dlc and stuff early my thing with that is, is like what's the point in getting all that if you can't even play online if the servers are down and stuff like that but the free update is out so i will when i get that um uh footage together i will actually be doing a review on the free update uh prior to the dlc update and then i'll be doing the dlc covering everything you know the skills and everything and all that good stuff this video right here is really just a personal video to shout out uh, Xenoverse 2 and the new team that is behind everything. If you don't know what's going on with D Xenoverse 2 and, uh, you know, what's going on behind the scenes, is uh, typically uh, Xenoverse 2 is uh, behind a new team of directors and things like that. Uh, I believe the creative director, or not the creative director, but, you know, the head of, of DB Fighters is either on Sparking Zero and then, you know, they, they stepped, some people stepped down and stuff like that, you know, stuff like that. So they moved around a lot of things when it comes to the gaming side of like the whole Dragon Ball aspect. And Jinrosu has got their new team and they are pushing this content out, guys. This is the biggest, and I, I mark my words, and I played this game since day one. This is the biggest DLC that we've ever gotten, ever. This is probably the best DLC we've ever gotten. Ever. Uh, if you haven't seen everything, obviously, like, I'm, again, I'm not going to sit here and spoil everything, but you've seen the characters in the, in the Lost trailer. We have Broly, we have Villainous uh, Rose. I've already covered him on this channel many times, especially. I'm going to call him Ultra Ego Vegeta. I don't care what nobody says. Basically, that's what they try to do in there. That's what they put their version or whatever. So, in all, in all honesty, I just really appreciate the direction that they're taking this in. They're putting a lot more content out. I do want them to focus more on the mechanical aspects of the game as it really needs some some real work when it comes to like the mechanical aspects of the universe. When it comes to the content though, it's just there. Oh my gosh, like we get so many new skills. We have 15 additional skills. We get freaking, what? So many new parallel quests and missions. We get three new arcs, um, all for the price of what? I believe it was like 14 bucks, uh, which is, I, I think this is our ex most expensive DLC too, if to correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but I think it's a, a combination of two DLC packs. So I think it's DLC 17 and 18. So I believe that that would be the reason why it's uh, a little bit pricey. Addition to that, we have the PlayStation 5 upgrade. So you know I'm going to be covering that as a whole together. So I'm going to be covering like four different types, four or five different videos between this weekend, between today and this weekend. Because there's festival stuff and all types of things. So I'm going to be grinding a lot of universe. This weekend, I haven't been playing the game in months, but, you know, this is the only time I actually get on it is when new things drop. Uh, you know, we're all wait waiting for Spark and Zero. But with all that being said, yeah, the Spike, the PS5 upgrade, sorry, I can't speak. <laughs> the PS5 upgrade is um, available at the same time as the DLC drops, which I figured they would do that. It would make sense that you would drop the DLC and drop the PS5 upgrade. I, I, it, I just thought it would be very stupid for them to drop the PS5 upgrade and just have a sitting there, you know? So, with that being said, I, I really do appreciate them for that. And when we get on into the actual festivals, there's new skills, there's new costumes. The metal shop is now changed. There's a new TP metal shop there. It's not called the TP metal shop. I think it's called it's separate. It's now, I actually forget the name. It's like the new metal. It's a new metal shop. Uh, and again, new cosmetics and stuff like that. I believe like this orange piccolo costume that you can get. Uh, there's a new raid live for free update players as well. I believe that's either today or tomorrow. Would, I think it's the day of update, or it should be the day before. It's Thursday, so it should be the day before or tomorrow, or the day of update. You know, how the time zones work in Japan or whatever, if you're on the East Coast. With that being said, I do enjoy all this packed content that they have in the game. Um, this really gives us time to really dive into this. Like I said, um, I'm not like these other content creators. I'm not going to sit here and just launch out all these videos at once i'm gonna keep them steady you know one video at a time one day at a time um doesn't i don't know a lot of people are just like spamming all this all the videos and it's like it's two days until the, the dlc drops like they can't even get their hands on it at this point you're just like teasing them like you the agony like i mean and i have a pc i can very well do the same thing they're doing guys literally i can go get the files and 
show it to you, but I, I'm choosing not to because why why do that? When I can experience it and play it, you can see my full reaction day one. You, they already have the reactions and videos up. I'm going to actually be you actually experiencing it. And that's like what this channel really is about. You experiencing it from the casual eye. So somebody, you know, I mean, I don't really call myself casual player of the universe too, but somebody who comes in it periodically and you can kind of gauge and say, okay, well, this person's maybe he's not too too into it. So maybe if he's dogging, digging it, maybe I might too. Or if he's digging it, eh, I don't know. So something like that. Maybe I even think I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, but yeah, that's really just my tidbits on the whole entire thing. I just wanted to give my overall overview of what Xenoverse is doing, where their team is headed, all of the content that they have planned. And this is just chapter one. Guys, this is just chapter one of this future saga, whatever the crap this is, man. And I'm just excited for what they have planned, honestly. Uh, we all know Xenoverse 2 isn't the best, but we know it, it can get better. But when it comes to the content, man, they, 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 they hand it over, man. They hand it over. They give us content. They give us Beast Gohan. It's probably one of the... Uh, deepest rosters we have right now um i mean you could argue because you know it's, most of it is dlc half of it is dlc now <laughs> so i guess you can argue that but you know again I, I do have a love for the game it's a personal love um it's close to my heart so uh, i really am excited to see where the game is going um but i am more excited for spark and zero i kind of am ready for something new i'm ready for something fresher even though budokai Tenkaichi is not a new series it's definitely new to some people and it's going to be a nice revamp so I'm excited for the Sparking Zero, definitely. So, Summer Game Fest is coming up. So, you know, this is just going to be... Let me just let you guys know this now. This is turning... This is not turning into... This is already a Dragon Ball channel, but I've been covering other games because, you know, Xenoverse and other Dragon Ball games have been dry. But I'm telling you right now, once Dragon Ball... Because right now, like, because Xenoverse 2 has this DLC, I'm going to be covering a lot of Xenoverse 2 content. And other games are probably not going to be covering. But, uh... It's probably, like, once or, you know, maybe one or two. But when it comes to the actual overall, like... Uh, aspect of Dragon Ball and their gaming and their content, I'll be covering like all of that, especially Sparking Zero. I, I'm not stopping when Sparking Zero comes out. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody that's a Dragon Ball fan or is making Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball content is kind of on that same wavelength, anyways. When once that game comes out, it, it's nothing else matters, nothing, and then until GTA Six, you know. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my little, you know, just I guess. Uh, updates on where my head is at with Xenoverse 2 and how do I feel about the new updates coming out and yes I will be covering these things uh this weekend so please be on the lookout for videos uh just periodically I mean, again day by day I'm gonna take them out day by day I'm not gonna just spam you guys with videos so leave a like on this video subscribe if you're new let me get on some more Xenoverse 2 content peace